yet another episode of the Let's Netflix and Chill Podcast. I'm your host, Reese Chasson, and on today's episode, we're looking at the heart of a hunter. This is episode 186. Now, this is a very interesting film, in my personal opinion. This is a, it's about a retired assassin, or retired secret op, basically, who's pulled back to action to sort of uncover a dangerous cons- conspiracy at the heart of the South African government, where... Uh, a supposed uh, future a corrupt uh, politician who's set to be president basically is uh, very corrupt and they feel like if he takes power the whole country will be in turmoil so uh, a group of assassins a, a group of uh, special former uh, secret agents and whatnot uh, band together to bring this uh, supposed um, uh, demon if, uh, if I'm saying that name right Dazan Devani. Uh, so that is a very interest. It's a very interesting story, and the, the fact that this is based off a book makes it even interesting. Now, I've seen a lot of spy films and whatnot, and this is the first spy or action-packed South African film that I was actually like, "Wow, this is really good." Yeah, uh, the, the 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 locations like. I've seen a tons of South African films where there's uh, a cop chase or a street chase with cars and stuff like that. With this one, and usually when, when they do that, they usually empty out streets. You won't see people walking, you won't see traffic and whatnot. It'll only be the cars that are in pursuit of each other. Which I always wonder, why is that? Why can't you have civilians and people? And with this one, they had civilians and people. And it was very interesting. You saw people in the streets. Of course, unlike Hollywood movies, I would have seen somebody get into a car accident some bad happened none of that mostly happened but it was an interesting concept an interesting new look for south african cinema in a way and i really loved it of course i had an issue with the whole if a police car is sort of rampaging after another car usually what happens is if you hear sirens people move out of the way and the police car just drives forward or the ambulance whatever but in this one the police car or the secret agent car was just driving around serving around traffic and none of the traffic people were like paying attention to the car with the siren going on with the blue lights like the boys in blue were in pursuit of a car why wasn't it celeb- civilians moving out of the way but that's not important the action the fist fights the, the, the guns and, and all that it was great the, the scenery there's this whole bunch of scenes with the satellites with the street cameras with the building cameras and there's this whole beautiful scene where all the lead protagonist Zuko is like traveling on a motorcycle in the countryside and it's different scenes it shows that he's actually moving to a certain location which made it beautiful for me and made me enjoy this whole thing more and more so I really really enjoyed this and I feel like um, each and every one of you would enjoy watching this film. Corny Ferguson takes center stage. She's she's got uh, she's in the role where she's like the, the head of this intelligence agency, the presidential secret something agency. I forgot the name of it. She's the head of that, and they call her mom and shit like she's some James Bond type. Oh, like that was a really cool aspect of this. I was enjoying this, and this whole thing is well constructed in my personal opinion. I really enjoyed it, and I think everybody will enjoy it. Now, I don't know if I've spoiled it or I haven't spoiled it, but I don't know if you can really match my level of excitement. This is the probably the best South African action film I've ever seen. Now, there's Jerusalem, there's a bunch of great South African films and whatnot, but this one had the vibes, you know. Jerusalem, if you know the, the story, it's a beautiful story, beautiful South African story. You know, about heists and robberies and whatnot. It was really great. Hijack stories, another great South African story with How to Steal Two Million. These are some of the great South African films I've seen where there's guns and killings and stuff. But with this one, I felt like it was made for the Western audience. And I feel like even the Western audience can watch this. Usually when they make uh, African films, they sort of resonate with African audiences. And they don't hold the can. They don't even come close to westernized films. I think this one came close. I'm not saying you can put it next to James Bond or, or I don't know, G.I. Joe, John Wick. You can't put it next to them. But I'm just saying it was a lot closer. It was close to being, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if this got nominated for something cool. I'm like, yes. It has a U.S. Uh, uh, 
you know, support behind it and whatnot. But you bear in mind it was directed by Munza Dube. Dube, rather. And, and he's a great South African director. And this was really great. It was really great. I enjoyed it. I really did. I, I think I think everyone will enjoy it. So drop whatever you're doing and check out the heart of a hunter. A really incredible, really incredible by my uh, personal opinion by Don Mayer. He's the he the, the film is based off a book that he wrote. So I'm saying go check it out, man. You will not regret it. Like it's really beautiful. Like I I, I usually don't take this long giving reviews. Like I felt like this resonated well. I mean, when you think about it, this guy is an assassin. I'm spoiling it now. This is the spot. This is the part where I'm going to spoil shit. When you think about it, this guy is a retired assassin or a retired secret agent, if you want to put it that way. He retired because on his last mission, he sort of killed a kid. I mean, sort of killed the man, his target, and the man's kid witnessed it all. And that sort of broke him and made him different. And he didn't want to do this shit anymore, so he retires. And he finds and starts a new family and has a kid. I don't know if the kid is adopted or it's his kid and he left them in the being. There's not really more story about that. But I'm assuming it's a kid of a girl that he's in love with. I'm just gonna assume that. But there were moments where it felt like it was his kid and he left and then he came back and they didn't want to tell him that's his real father, which would be weird, but I don't know. That's not important. So he's he's living this life of a normal man, has got a normal job, with a beautiful girlfriend, he's got an engagement ring, he's about to propose to this woman. And and this Johnny fella shows up at his door, Johnny Klein shows up at his door, and he's like played by Peter Butler by the way. Shows up at his door and he's like, My dude, you gotta do this, you sure an oath and whatnot, and drags him into this cockamania nonsense where he gotta, you know, and before he knows it, he's in the news, he's the most wanted person. His girlfriend, almost fiance, almost wife, ends up dying. And, and, and he just loses it and he's like, oh, fuck, man, he kills. It's just beautiful, man. It's really beautiful. I really think everyone will enjoy this. I know I just stopped midway of spoiling. I don't want to spoil it to the, uh, you know, to the, just go watch it, man. Just go watch it. This is a really good film. It's really good. I don't know. Some people give better reviews. I, I, sometimes I give great reviews. I don't know if I'm giving a great review, but just go watch it. You know, go watch it, and I think you will enjoy it. Uh, anyway, um, remember to subscribe and hit that like button. Uh, wherever you're watching or listening, if you're listening to the audio version of the podcast. Anyway, uh, adios, folks. Remember, go check out the heart of a heart beautiful south african film i think everyone everyone who's into spies guns and stuff i think this is a worldwide sensation in my personal opinion it's really good it's really that good anyway uh thanks i'm all over the place now thank you and goodbye it's been a blast uh, now that was entertaining please let us hang out yet another time remember to like and subscribe adios folks Adiós.